Hi Capricorn, this is Just with your July 2016 mid-month reading. I hope you guys are enjoying your, your July. Let's get into your reading. So I see for a lot of my Capricorns, you're taking on an air energy. You're very cerebral at this time. Um, my Capricorn ladies, you're, you're giving off more of a masculine energy. Okay. Um, so be mindful of that. Um, and I feel that uh, in the past, I know I explained to some of you guys that there was some issues at the workplace and then there was some problems with uh, missed opportunities and not finding, I believe it was you guys, that was a missed opportunity at one point. There was some, I know there was issues at the workplace and um, some of you were having problems finding work. Um, and so I see straight out the gate that there was some misfortunes and some um bad circumstances that took place that was out of your control okay um but i feel that instead of capricorns allowing it to get the best of them you guys have now decided to kind of self-nurture and uh, focus on the other things in life that you really need to put take put attention into okay so it looks to me that for some of my capricorns especially those of you that um were looking for work was having a hard time finding work um, you have taken the time to now focus on other areas of your life and nurture other things and, and nurture yourself as well. I feel like you guys are practicing a lot of patience and understanding because I think this month you guys are very clear that you're doing everything that you can to um, gain employment, um, to meet with the right people, and it will happen at a divine time. And you're absolutely right if that's been your mentality. I feel like if for those of you that that relates to, you have this inner knowing and belief that everything is going to work out and everything is going to be fine. It's just going to take a little time. Now, for those of my Capricorns that are looking for work that's out there, um, beating the pavement, sending your res resumes out. I don't think anyone beats the pavement anymore, but... Um, sending your resumes out, meeting with people, you're possibly going to be meeting a lot of interviewing with um, people that are very cerebral, very mental. So expect during your interviewing process to be um, looked at as someone uh, that they need to analyze your problem solving skills, um, how well you articulate yourself and um, your mental capacity to um, your intellectual capacity rather, okay? So how intellectual you are and how good are you at pro problem solving and how well do you articulate yourself? So these things are gonna be very important. So prepare yourself if you can in more of a cerebral way, okay? Because you guys are going to be encountering a lot of air sign people. Um, other than that, you could possibly deal with other the other elements that you possibly will be dealing with is more water, sign people so people that's a little bit more nurturing um, particularly for my Capricorns that are looking to go into possibly um, the medical field if you will some type of service orientated field um, I feel like you're going to be meeting a lot of people that are looking for you to fill a spot that is very much a need and a necessity so I think that that is if, if you guys are not looking for a more technical analytical uh, more mental and cerebral um, positions and opportunities, um, even more mechanical opportunities, then you're looking more of this um, service orientated medical um, hospitality even industries as well I'm getting um, from this reading. Um, so with that, I see here now that there may be opportunities for some Capricorns to um, have certain positions come back to them. Ones that were, it's almost as if you had to battle um, to kind of go through the process. It took a lot um, out of you. Um, so there could be an opportunity for you to go back there. That opportunity may be available, but I feel like that is a very small percentage of Capricorns that that would relate to. Now I see... Um, that there will be you getting what it is that you want, okay? Um, so there will be an opportunity for you to have these things. It's looking really good for those of my Capricorns that are um, looking for employment. I feel like it's literally going to come out of nowhere, okay? Um, particularly for those of you that thought maybe you lost an opportunity, um, it could be coming back. 
excuse me, my throat, it could be coming back. And I feel like more during the Mercury retrograde, uh, you could be um, really gaining traction for from previous employments. OK, so um, look out for that, because I feel when this opportunity comes to you, it really will be coming literally out of the blue. Um, it's going to destabilize some of you for um, a little bit because it's going to call for you to physically act quickly. OK, so um, when you get the call, you may have to come and interview really quickly, um, meet with people really quickly because they probably are only in town for a certain amount of time or they only have this slot or they need to fill a position really quickly. So it literally whatever this will be, it will literally come out of the blue. It will destabilize you. And I feel like it will only destabilize you because you have to act so quickly and being an earth sign that can be a bit of a challenge especially if you do not have fire in your chart um so for some of my capricorns it will be destabilizing but because you're taking on such an air energy mentally i feel like you're gonna definitely heed the call and you will be charging ahead okay but just be very aware that if you get some type of news regarding employment at all um and again, I feel like this definitely transcends to a client based um, work. If you deal with sales, if you deal with um, your own personal business, um, I feel like there's definitely going to be after some of you. Uh, OK, so I want to finish. here. I don't want to get um, off track. So um, going back to you guys that's looking for employment, if you hear anything that's literally just prepare yourself, especially if you're out there looking for work and you know that you've been putting the work in diligently looking for work. OK, um, expect uh, for some of you definitely expect if it doesn't happen, then obviously this was not meant for you, but it's always good to be prepared. So expect for there to possibly be news that comes out of, out of the blue. But again, I promise you when it comes out of the blue, it still will be out of the blue. It will still be out of the blue because that's just how this energy works. Um, and you, it will call for you to act quickly, but I do feel like, um, when you get the news absolutely act quickly but make sure that your mental state is clear okay because remember what i said about the type of people that you're going to be engaging with so you can judge that yourself um if you know that you're working in a more or focusing on a more service oriented employment then you want to be more kind and you know you want to appeal to their senses and if you're dealing with more mechanical technical um mercurial so um communicative communicative um field of some sorts then you want to you know show your intellect your problem solving skills and be very well versed in how you articulate yourself and how you communicate so just be mindful of that so keep those things those two things in mind and i feel you guys have will be fine overall things look really good so no need to worry now for my can't well, excuse me my capricorns that are um again back to that you have your own business your own company you have or you have your your job is more sales focused i feel like you guys are definitely um because of some type of mishap some of you could have lost clients or it could have just gotten slow for some of my capricorns out there and you decided to focus on perhaps other um, avenues of, of, of work that you have. Some of you could have two different um, businesses that you run, two or more different businesses that you want run. And because this one was picking up traction, gaining traction, you was really focusing on that. Well, since it's died down or there's been a mishap of some sort for some of you, you've decided to really kind of go back and tweak some things and really focus on any problematic issues that you were having with that uh, business as well as really kind of giving some attention to the other ones as well um again taking on this cerebral energy and problem solving finding the problems and fixing the problems i feel that that is going to now um help kind of realign the energy if you will for some of you guys and that's going to start bringing in a lot more clientele for you guys but be very mindful um of the clientele make sure that you're you're dying your eyes and crossing your t's guys make sure that um you are aware of every decision that's being made that you're communicating that that you're really following up 
okay um because i do see here that there's going to be a lot of opportunities that starts to come in i feel at the tail end going into august for some of you it will be actually in the month of august that you will start to definitely see um more clientele come in more business come in for you things picking up um which can again dishevel you especially if you have you know more than one business um and things start to pick up with all three of them so you want to be very careful because you don't want to kind of um reverse all of the work that you've put into it because i do feel like again for those of you that i'm speaking of that have your own business um that even it is has a job but it's more client based commission based i feel like things will start to pick up out of nowhere once again things will be coming in rather quickly it can find you a bit destabilized as far as what should i focus on first what should i do um because i don't see any earth here okay i don't see any earth for you guys i only see water and air okay so be very mindful that for the remainder of this month um you're not necessarily working off of your own element okay you're not being as practical as you normally would be um, which i think is beneficial to you because the energies are going to call for you to um be different not not be slow to act not be slow to think you have to be quick you know and you have to really um use your senses to gauge people and circumstances so um it's great that i am seeing this for you because i feel like it's going to benefit you but because it's not your natural element there can be a bit of confusion um going into august um when this situation kind of comes out of the blue um and things start happening really quickly okay so when that happens client starts to call you and everything really have your plan down 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 pat you know um, again set yourself up with spreadsheets charts whatever you need to do to make sure that your business is as streamlined and as simplified as possible so that therefore you when this this thing comes in you can gauge the good from the bad okay you can make really good decisions and you're not dropping the ball at all okay um at the workplace i feel like again you guys um are going to be dealing with possibly some i feel like i just get this feeling like some of my capricorns was dealing with some type of problem and issue at the workplace and this is like work issues not necessarily people um, but there were some problems at the workplace where systems were um, problematic, an account was um, problematic, but it was something that was pretty significant at the workplace that was problematic. And I feel like now all hands are on deck and you guys are really doing what you can to make sure that the situation doesn't necessarily occur again. So there's a lot of eyes um, on the ball reviewing looking it over time and time again making sure that it's done accurately um, because of this i feel like you're definitely taking more of a um, intellectual approach about the situation and because you've taken so much time and attention um into this problem whatever this was um i feel like things are working back into your favor and as a result there could be someone that you're working in tandem with so it could be an air sign gemini libra or aquarius person it doesn't have to be under that sign at all but it is someone that is um again going back to those same things that i explained earlier in this reading regarding um cerebral and air quality you could possibly be working in tandem with them, um, making sure that um, things are fixed. Uh, this could be a relationship that at one point was a bit problematic. Um, there could have been some harsh words exchanged to some extent, or the person could have said something um, out of sorts to you. And instead of following them up or, um, you know, exchanging wits with them, you could have let the situation go, um, whatever the case. But I feel like now you guys are coming together and you're more on page um with the situation okay and as the month goes in i again i want you to be very careful um about the um 
about everything in that can go possibly wrong anything that you did not check anything that um you've been have you really spread yourself thin and did you pay attention to every little detail of a circumstance and did you troubleshoot everything make sure that um no stone is left unturned going into august okay um and be very realistic about whatever it is that went wrong and what needed to happen just stay on top of Stay on top of things because I, I see that there could be something and it could happen when you're away. It could happen when you guys are not even at the workplace. Something happens at, you know, out of the blue, like you're at on vacation or you're away or it's your time off and you could have possibly some blocked, a block amount of time off. Um, and you've been really putting a lot of time and attention into this problem at work and now everything seems fine, okay? And then you go away or you just take some time off and then you get this phone call that all hell is breaking loose. And now you have to travel back to work, back home to, you know, to see about the problem or whatever it is it's going to call, call for you to act, okay? And then you may find that things are... is even more problems and issues so um i don't feel like you can necessarily avoid this i don't see that this is being of this is unavoidable um but if i just want to make sure that you're doing everything that you're supposed to do so keep all your paperwork cross your eyes dot your t's you know what i'm saying cross your t's dot your eyes <laughs> and make sure that you're um you're on top of your game so that nothing could come back to you okay now, um, in the love sphere here, I see that um, there is a situation where clearly you guys are dealing with um, air signs. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I feel like some of you guys are... Th these. This person could possibly have come back into your life, okay? And I feel like the person has come back into your life... And you guys are really on a good page for some Capricorns, okay? Um, I feel it's two ways. For some of you Capricorns, the person is coming back into your life. Let's be honest. You've been thinking about them. Um, they've been on your mind. And you've called them in. Some of you have, you know, manifested your ex because, you know, they, they've been constantly on your mind. And I feel that um, now you guys are in this stasis of healing, um, this did not happen for a lot of you. It's not, um, a happenstance. It really did happen because of divine timing, um, uh, because it's the right time for you guys to kind of pick up where you left off at. And I feel like right now, some of you are in a good space with this air sign. Again, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini person it doesn't have to be it's just someone that's a little bit more, far more communicative than he is emotional, um, so um, he shows his his interest in you by calling you all the time and, it, you know, talking to you a lot and really asking you questions and being interested in in you, you know, um, so that that is some ways that air signs express their interest in you. Um, I feel like things are really good with you guys and I feel that there could be. Um, just you guys being aware of the other person's needs. So there's a lot of time and attention that's being given. Some of you are exchanging um, how you feel about one another and it's, and it's flowing really easily and it's making you just downright feeling good. You know, <laughs> you're just feeling downright good. Some of you could be um, having a social and and just not necessarily that this is someone coming back if it's not and you just have met someone this could be someone that you're going out with you know you guys go out you have drinks you know you have a good time you know the conversation is easy it flows everything works well you guys kind of are always on the same page for now and it still makes you feel absolutely amazing um you're feeling really good about the situation um i feel that as time progresses, okay, and for others of you, I wanted to say that um, there could be this air sign coming back. And yes, while, you know, they've been on your mind um, because it's, it's someone from your past and you've been processing, you know, as, as, as people do when they've gone through a breakup, you've been processing the situation um, 
about what has happened in the past. If they come back, for some of you, you're not going to entertain it because you're going to really be focusing on self and other things in your life that you just do not, you're not interested in that person. Um, but I feel like that is a very small percentage of you that that relates to. For the most of Capricorns that this relates to, you guys are going to be entertaining the person and feeling quite happy about it. Um, there's going to be um, some, I feel, feeling like I, we could go anywhere with this. You know, it's so many places to take it. Um, who knows where this can go? Some of you are really, I feel, fantasizing and daydreaming about the possibilities of now where this can turn into because things are going so well. Also, for my Capricorns, you definitely are dealing with an, an, a water sign, okay? So I feel like in the past, things were not, the timing was not right to deal with this water sign. And I just heard Pisces, but um, I feel like you're very clear that this person gives you everything that you want. Like for you, some of you Pisces, um, excuse me, some of you Capricorns that are dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpios, I feel that they could come off more like an air sign, even though they're a water sign. They may have a lot of air in their chart. So even though they may have Jupiter in an air sign, you'll be surprised at how Jupiter or a moon can change a person's energy very strongly. So um, this person could come off more like an air sign, uh, but they are a water sign. And it is not necessarily all that they say. And it's not even so much all the time what they do, but it is just that connection that you guys have, like when you're next to each other, the energy that you feel or something so simple as just a touch of like, when a person like touches your shoulder or something, just the magnetic, the synergy, the energy that pulses from them to you, um, it speaks volumes. Okay. Um, some of you guys are very clear about this relationship with your water sign and that this person literally is nurturing and, and giving to you something so beautiful that you kind of can't put it in words. And I feel, especially for my Capricorns out there that are dealing with water signs, you are. And if it's not you, then it's definitely them. So it could be you taking on more of the air energy and they're um, very nurturing and caring and just happy, go lucky. Like they're so happy to have you in their life. Okay. And they're doing everything in their power to show you how important you are to them and to give you all that they can and they themselves could be you know fantasizing about you know where this relationship can go okay and some of you that are taking on more of an air, air quality you may not be matching them obviously in the, how they um how they're con expressing themselves so they're being very emotional and you're just like okay okay <laughs> um um you definitely, I feel like for some of you, there is a clarity there. Um, for some of you, you don't necessarily have the same feelings as this word of sign. Okay, you're very clear about that. You're, you're single, you want to be single, um, and you're okay with where you're at in life right now. Um, but I do get for others of you, you're and you want a new beginning with someone else. Okay, so for, like going back what I said, and this could apply to the water sign or the air sign, doesn't matter. But some of you are not interested. You're definitely clear you broke up, you broke it off. Um, you have a clean slate. You're single and you're happy. Okay, and um, th so the, 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 the emotional part of it is something that you're doing for self. Okay, um, because you're really wanting a new beginning with someone else. Right. Um, I feel like in the love sphere, there is going to be some type of event, circumstance, situation that comes out of the blue. It could be an I love you that literally comes out of the blue. It could be an I love you. It could be will you move with me? Will you move to where I am out of the blue? It it could be, you know, I'm here. You know, like you're where I'm at the airport or I'm drive. you know, whatever state you're in, just as an example. I'm in Florida, you know, you on the phone with the person, you're like, where are you? I'm in Florida. What do you mean Florida? You live in California. What are you doing? Or, you know, you live in Virginia. What are you doing here? 
you know um so there could be this literal out of the blue someone calling you and the person saying that they're in your hometown like they're they've come to visit you out of the blue unannounced and un uninvited or there could also be a um message that comes your way um out of the blue requesting that you come see them i bought you tickets come see me um i'm i got tickets for us we're gonna go said place uh, but I feel like it's less than you two doing it together, more more of a them coming out of the blue. I feel like it's more of them coming to you out of the blue. Then it's you coming to them out of the blue. And then it's even less that you guys are going someplace together. But more strongly, they're coming to you out of the blue. And you're like, wait a minute, no. Especially if it's the air sign. <laughs> You know, it's like, it doesn't have to be an air sign, but it's just someone that's, you know, all thought, like they're, you know, when overthinking, now they have to act. So it's like, okay, I'm, I'm coming. What? They're here and now you're a bit defensive. Like, wait a minute, I didn't invite you. So how, you know, how can you just show up like this? That's not how any of this works. Um, for those of you that's single, I see here that a lot of you are just doing a lot of nurturing and self-care. A lot. I'm sorry, guys. It's, Reading is so long, but I feel like I need to touch on a lot of points here. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are um, really self-nurturing at this time. Uh, there could be some thinking about people from your past, um, definitely fantasizing. Some of you could be um, having a lot of drinks, so be very careful with that. Um, but again, I feel like even if you're single, if you're going out one time, say with your friends and you're out... Um, you're going to be very sharp. So you're going to be attracting a lot of um, people that want to communicate and ask you a bunch of questions or people that like don't hold their liquid liquor so good or and being very emotional or just, you know, you just met them and they're asking you the most personal questions or they're divulging so much of their own personal information. So, uh, yeah, comment below if that relates to you. But there will be some type of invitation, I feel, um, that comes out of the blue, right? So I do still feel even if you're single, someone from your past could possibly just be coming back out of the blue. And it's going to be really the case when Mercury goes retrograde, I believe next month, the end of this month to next month. So there's going to be some people coming out of the blue and there's going to be um, someone asking you to come with them, go with them. They want to see you out of the blue, um, whether it's from your past or someone new. So that is what I have for my Capricorns. I hope that this resonates with you guys. It looks really good for you for the remainder of July. And you guys know what to do. Thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care.